Well, they were shocking crimes. Sorority sisters in their 50s and 60s raped in their homes. For years, the cases sat cold until new DNA technology reignited the quest for justice. Last week, a man known as the sorority rapist was sentenced in a Collin County courtroom to life in prison. Our Meredith Yeoman sat down with some of those credited with cracking the case. Jeffrey Wheat's conviction came more than 20 years after his first known victim and more than a decade after three Delta Sigma Theta sorority alumna were raped in their homes. I think it's a lot of relief for everybody. Relief brought in part by Plano Police Detective Daniel Bryans and retired crime scene unit manager Rick Staub. We wouldn't have solved it, I'm pretty sure, without genetic genealogy. Forensic genetic genealogy, the same technology used to catch the Golden State Killer, was successfully used for the first time in Collin County to identify Jeffrey Wheat. It took us several years and hours and hours of research. Detective Bryans was assigned the case in 2018 when he started on Plano's cold case unit. Where we started was just looking at all the evidence we had. Evidence like videos, leads and DNA left at scenes, which was entered into databases used by the public to trace ancestry. We would have to get matches of those relatives and then we would have to look at social media, law enforcement websites, anything to try to tra start tracking families from there. Countless DNA samples from possible relatives were tested. There were a lot of no's, yes. But they did not give up. Well, I think we had so many victims and we had the victims and then the horrific crimes that they were, we couldn't, we couldn't stop there. In 2021, Wheat was arrested in Arkansas after Detective Bryan says his identity was confirmed through DNA taken from his daughter and half brother. We tried to interview him, he wouldn't talk to us. Wheat pleaded guilty last week to cases in Collin, Dallas, Tarrant, and Denton counties. It was uh, quite satisfying. We asked Detective Bryans if he thinks there are more victims. Absolutely, without a doubt. Wheat will spend the rest of his life in prison. Cold cases solved courtesy of determined detective work and modern technology. Meredith Yeomans, NBC5. A wheat was sentenced to life in prison for cases out of Tarrant and Collin counties, 30 years for the Dallas County case and 20 years for the case in Denton County.